All right. We're gonna do a little bit of bench racing today. So something I recently learned last week, um, everyone's looking for a little more horsepower and the intakes has become a thing of uh, controversy on the internet. So if you do a little Googling, you'll hear everyone say that you need an intake that's about 12 inches long from you know the front of the, after the, after the cone to the intake. Basically everyone puts a, a 90 degree piece of pipe eight to 12 inches long and then they do the math in the filter and they lean that over toward the driver's side of the engine bay um, inside the car. And everyone says that it's proven it's down tested that, that makes more power. Uh, so interestingly, we had a car recently on the dyno that had that system on it and they did a couple of pulls. Then they switched to this style intake which goes the other direction but it's substantially shorter and they did another pull and they gained four horsepower with this intake. So why? So uh, I have a couple of theories um, and these are theories based on some other experiences I've had. Uh, I do not doubt because I've seen the math that in an ideal situation, uh, well in an ideal situation you don't have the 90 because 90s rob flow, but a straight pipe 12 to 14 inches long then your filter is going to net you the most horsepower. And on an engine dyno, that's what you see. The problem comes in the real world with packaging. So unless you want to stick a hole through the front bumper and have it stick straight out in front of you, you can't do that. Excuse me, you have to put a bend in it. And the, the bend can only go so many different directions. I suppose you could do the tractor style and stick straight up. Uh, probably make a lot of power that way. Aerodynamically, it's not the greatest. Um, so everyone folds it over to the left and runs over to the exhaust side of the engine bay. Now, we did some pulls with a couple of different supercharged cars on the dyno. And the worst one, we did three or four pulls back to back, lost 10 horsepower every pull due to heat soak. Uh, so we start off making 340 horse, then the next pull was 330, then the next pull was 320, then it went down to like 315, then we stopped, took a break for lunch, came back, everything was cool off, did another pull, right back to 340 again. The, the loss was just from heat soak and the heat, the hot air that the engine was pulling in. I suspect what was happening with the, uh, the Champ Car team that was doing this test and made the most power with this is they were doing real world dyno testing. Uh, you know, uh, in the real world, the hood is closed, you only have limited airflow, the engine bay gets hot, uh, having it point as far away from the hot exhaust, the hot point under the hood, and having it close to where you have vents and holes cut in the front of the bodywork, in the real world, my theory is that's what makes the, makes the most power. On the dyno, hood open, fans blowing, cold engine, yeah, a longer run going over the exhaust side is fine, but when you're out driving around, that, that just is not the case. So, um, and, I, and this happens a fair amount, but you know, you have your hypothetical best case scenario, but then you have your you know, your implementation of that can only be so good. Um, so interesting note, uh, I've always run these short style only because it looks so much better. Um, and I, I just don't like, you know, mentally there's something that bugged me about having the intake right next to the exhaust in the car. I liked it flipped around. But I'd always been bugged about people saying, oh, you're, you're losing torque, you're losing mid-range. Um, and so I don't, again, I, I've seen the dyno, the graphs. I don't doubt that in an ideal situation that is correct. Um, but in the real world, choosing colder temperature air is more important than the difference in runner length. No matter what, we're talking single-digit horsepower numbers here. These are not make-or-break scenarios. But in a car that's only got 140, 150 horse anyway, it's a pretty substantial chunk. So... Yeah, so that's, that's what we learned this past week. I uh, thought it was interesting. Um, think about packaging when you're doing stuff. It's, it's not just a matter of mathematically this makes the most power. You gotta be able to implement it. Um, and if your ideal scenario is running over and breathing in the air next to the hottest piece of the engine bay, it might be really powerful on the first lap by the 20th hour, not so much. So uh, yeah, so think about packaging, think about where you're putting stuff. That's our tech tip for today.